And so the time has come to continue where we left off, amidst the hideous paintings of layers of fear. Layers of fear. I will even um, hashtag it. Hashtag layers of, of fear. And uh, let's make it public. And uh, let's see what else should we do. Can I, I can say doing activity, right? Like, oh no, I see where it is. Can't, uh, activity playing. Um, that's an emoji. So let's say. Anyway, that's all we can do it later. Let's jump into layers of fear. Alright. Alright, so here I am with this hideous photo in front of me still. And I'm like, oh man. That is creepy. This whole place is creepy. So let's see what else we've learned. Well, we know that each of these ingredients my character used were used for something pretty demented. Drawing a very thick piece of art that is kind of Dorian Gray-esque. So I guess the only step next is to kind of see what we can find. See if we can get closer to unraveling the mystery. We know that my character was kind of this narcissistic and uh, basically, uh, you know, full of himself artist. But now everything's coming back to bite him after he's done some pretty horrendous stuff. By the way, how's the audio sound, um, everybody? Yeah, I'll pause it to ask. Um, let me know how audience, uh, uh, audio sounds. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I can't open this door. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see what we can see. Oh no, I was here before, I think. Oh, awesome, it's perfect. All right, that's great to know. Thank you so much. Oh, a phone is ringing. Where could the phone be ringing? I think I remember this, because I saved right before this. I have to pull this book, and um, I think it opens. Oh, not good. And I have to find the correct combination, if I recall correctly. Because this is where we were stuck before, until I looked it up. Oh, this that will say the combination as soon as I check through these drawers. And I find the, the evidence I need. Ah, uh, some paintings simply defy words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must, if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. So, it's a creepy painting that my character drew, and now we have a clue from the painting, 363. So I think that's the number we should dial. Talk to me! Why won't you talk to me? Whoa, but who are you? Let's dial 363. feel like something must have happened. Because 363 is what we wanted, right? Maybe it didn't quite go all the way down. There we go, I hear a ringing. Somewhere else in here is a ringing. I have to listen for it. It's like Marco Polo as it gets closer. Oh, what is this up here? Creepy. Whoa. And now this door is opening. My god, what am I uncovering here? I'm a little bit nervous. To be honest. I 
still hear the phone ring. The chandelier is moving. Like they're not jump down here. That would be that would be suicide. What if I crawl along the sides here? Maybe I'll find what I need. Ah, there it is. You promise. What, what did I promise? Something fell from the ceiling. Let's see. And yet, again, I hear another phone ringing. Is this going to fall? Here it is. This all's nothing. It never has. It never will. Oh, jeez. Okay. There's someone else in the building. Who? Ah, ah jeez. <laughs> Painting scared me. It suddenly appeared. What, do I just jump down there? I'd be killed, wouldn't I? There must be something more to it. Can I interact with these phones now? Maybe I can jump down there. I mean, maybe it's worth a shot. Whoa. So I did just jump down. I'm not so sure that was a good idea. I seem kind of injured. Well, we're getting closer to the heart of the matter. We're discovering more. More and more where we need to go. But we do know that my guy's been up to some sick, sick stuff. And he probably deserves whatever's coming to him. Very Dorian Gray. And here I am, back in the same room. Interesting. There's a coin here, I guess. Some wine. Same stuff as before. Now I wonder, what's different than before? The ceiling is... is the same. Maybe I need to go back the other way. It's locked again. Turn on the lights, that always helps. Yeah, let's turn on all the lights. Maybe there's something to that. Climb this ladder? Can't seem to do it. Well, good gravy. Am I stuck again? Oh no, it's the same book. So I might be able to open through this secret passage again. But the question is, where will it take me this time? Because the house is always shifting and moving as we go. Oh. Oh. What is this? 853. Okay. The next phone number must be... 853. This is what happened before. I must have made a mistake by jumping down there. But what 
what am I seeing up there? Am I supposed to go up there? I don't even see how I would get across. That chain looks like it could break. It's different now. Nothing yet. Maybe it was 854. Actually, does anyone remember what that number was? I feel like it was like 358 or 853. I'll tell you what. I'll look it up real quick here. Let's see. Um, layers of fear phone numbers. Okay, what is the number to call? 363. Maybe it's 363 again. What are all the phone numbers to call? Layer of fear. Okay, here we go. Three five four, I think. Let's try three five four. That did something. Oh, look. Now I can walk on here. Oh, hello. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign when the phone does that. Um, oh, I'm kind of stuck. Where do I go? Oh, ouchies. So, the question is, is it going to make me start that again? Darn it, yeah it will. Alright, that's okay. Now we know. 363, go up the door. Not a problem. Ugh. Alright. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is already jacked up. Okay. And what's this go to? I have a feeling I've done some pretty bad stuff, and the phone's melting. And it's not even a Samsung Galaxy. This is unfortunate. Okay. I say it's high time we tail it out of here. I don't know what the rest of you think. Still locked. Um. Alright, phone is melting. I needed something to add the... How should I put it? Final touches. Oh man, finger. That is great. I needed a finger. Chop it off. Easier than sawing the leg. Washed it. Dried it in an oven. Fell asleep. Almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? So my artist guy that I am is a real creeper, and he's been using all these like body parts and stuff to do his art, and that's part of the reason it's come to life and become all. Supernatural. Oh no, I have to add the finger to this hideous drawing. Okay. It's becoming more like a person. Less hideous than it was. And now look. It's down here as well. That means there's only one more. One more item to find. And maybe I'll finally unwrap this mystery.
Alright, now the potatoes are all over the floor. Always a bad sign. Mirrors are melted. Ah, uh, this is the most, in a weird way, hideous one of them all. This one scares me. I'm afraid to look away from it. Whoa, everywhere I go, it... It has multiple sides. What kind of madness is this? And now there's rats on the other side. Just like rats in the walls. Oh no, what's happening? Okay. Uh, 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 I must just be hallucinating. This must just be hallucination. Let's get out of here. Find a way out. Who is this? I better run. Oh no. I right, don't come toward me anymore, please. I'm just gonna go this way. Okay. Oh man, he's after me. Maybe I can put something in front of the door. Oh, that's scary. I'm afraid to go back out that way. There's another door here, though. This is all blocked off. Man, this mansion is truly falling apart. Now, here's a colorful room. Filled with my art, I suppose. What's this portrait up ahead? A door on the ground. Oh, oh, and I fell through it. Okay. Note to self, don't go through doors on the ground. Um, what am I hearing? It sounds like a monster. Ah! Ah! And it got me. Oh. Okay. Restart there. Alright. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's take a look. We're so close to the final climax. I'm locked in both ways. It's gotta be a way. Oh, just... Duh. Alright, this doesn't look so unusual. Just kind of like an industrial area. The light's turning more green than it was before. It's like melted painting everywhere. Can you even paint anymore? Yes, I can. I will. I must. It is my salvation. Are you guys sure the audio balances are pretty good? Or... Because, I don't know, I'm a little worried about that. I'm playing it through the speakers. Hey, what's this? Dear sir, my wife would be thrilled to play at your wedding. Please give us a call tonight and we'll work out the details. My number is this. Hope to hear from you soon. So it must be me talking to someone about my wife because she's a musician. And I'm very much supportive of her, even though I'm kind of a jerk in this. A lot of creepy art. 
I hear someone. Who do I hear? Where are you? I'm going to find you. Is it my daughter? A lamp on a wheelchair. That's odd. Some kind of ukulele or string instrument. Back to more melted mansion. Hmm, I agree. It does seem like it's a bit dark. I think I might turn up the gamma, actually. Because I think that's I think that's part of the issue. All right, I just turned up the gamma. What's in here? Someone in the bathtub? Why would I go into the bathtub like that? It's the least efficient bathing way possible. And I just did it again. Oh, I can hold down the mouse button. And I can see what's under here. What am I seeing? That was not great. Should I go in again? I wonder if there's even a point. I'm, oh, it's like a different place now. Each time I look into this bathtub, it gives me a different... Some kind of different experience or memory. Interesting. Am I supposed to look through one more time? It won't let me go away. Well, three times a charm. Who's that down here? The whole bathroom's flooded now. This entire game, you basically don't know at this point if it's a hallucination or if he's, you know, dreaming or more likely if he's being haunted by something, some specter. So that's what I look like. It really does look like me. I can't get out. Why is there a butcher knife here? This. Finally, someone had to bear witness. It's an I eyeball. I just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience. A critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I doused it. Scooped it up like ice cream. Felt like a butcher. A monster, but at least there was to come something beautiful from all this filth. Jeez, so a part of everything else, I also took a human eye to complete my terrible art project. Oh no, there it is. This might be the final one, but where did it go? It's missing somewhere. Missing. Something to do with the chest for? Check his board? No. Where did my portrait go? Is that it? So, does this open? There we go. What did I take there?
Mm, let's see, so if I'm stumped right now, the question is... This seems important over here. Something like that does. And what am I holding? It's like... Well, I guess all I can do is kind of see what I can manipulate around here. Oh, there we go. I took something else. My god. Oh. I don't like the looks of that. Maybe I'm looking for even more of those coin things. Wherever they may be. The checkers board moved itself. Yep, this house is clearly haunted. <laughs> the children's room opened up. It's a rat. What am I seeing? It's forcing me to turn around. It's like I'm on top of that merry-go-round. Nothing I can do over here. Hey, teddy bear, where are you going? What What do you know that I don't know? There's something that I'm missing. Some important clue. Something to do with the children's room. But what is happening with the children's room? Where the rat was? These toys? Now it's twirling me. This is so psychedelic. It's doing something to me, but I don't know what it is. Well, what's this painting? Looking at paintings always seems to be important. Filled with eyeballs, and we know that's important to my art. Anything behind here? Nah. No such luck. Now that I've already turned that on, it doesn't help me further. Let's look back over in this main room. Again, I'm missing some important piece of the puzzle, some clue. Something about circularity, something about things being off their axis. And maybe I add... Oh, why is it spinning me? That's really weird, it's spinning me of without my own accord. Am I just supposed to take it, or am I supposed to move? Because I'm not on anything that should spin me. Unless my, um...
Yeah, I don't know. You can't jump. Something about turning this off or connecting this. Alright, I'm a little bit stumped to be honest. The farther away I get, the easier it is for me to control without spinning. Maybe I need to spin a certain amount of times for it to make a change. Maybe that's part of it. So let's just go here and let's spin for a little while. Well, now that I want to, it won't let me. Huh. Is there any way I can get into the baby carriage? Maybe there's some clue there. Take a stuffed animal. What if I add this, like, bone or whatever item it is to one of these things? I'm not sure. So then the question is, maybe I'm supposed to look up around here. Something on here? Oh, it's spinning me. It's spinning me. Whoa. Alright, while it's spinning me, we can definitely talk about how Layers of Fear is a weird, psychedelic experience. Oh, the closer I get to the light, the more it spins me. So maybe you have to just get really, really close. And, and so it like spins you like crazy. Let's see. Alright. Sprinting towards it. Sprinting towards it. That's it. Something's going on. Something's going on. I'm spinning a lot. That's good, right? Now I'm spinning the other direction. It's something to do with spinning in this room. That's like a clue. Maybe it's if you're stepping on a source of light that's spinning. Could that be it? Alright, I'm about ready to, to give up. I might look up online. Uh, any ideas, any suggestions about what I could do to possibly progress? Because I am stumped. I know that when I go to that light, it starts spinning me. But I kind of don't know what to do with that. Maybe I need... Oh, these are looking down at the floor. Maybe I need to look at the ceiling as it spins. What if that's the case? Alright, so let's look at the ceiling. What, does that mean something? Alright, let's look it up. No more time to, to waste. Alright. Layers of fear. Uh, children's room spinning. Let's see what we find. If anyone finds it first, no problem. Use the key crank on the music box in the center of the room, the one that looks like a... Oh, that's not where I am. Hang on.
the nursery. All right, that's it. All right, I'm not really learning what I need to learn. Is there a checkers board around? Does anyone see one? Confused. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, layers of fear. Light children's room. I didn't see a music box. Did anyone see a music box? All right, let's look for... Oh, here's a chest chessboard so I can't do anything with that um, is there a music box doesn't seem to be that way So some things are up. Whoa, what's this? I'm spinning like crazy. Is this what I'm supposed to do? It's like the light itself gets you stuck in spinning. Alright, what chapter am I on? Does it say? So zooming in and out makes me spin. But I don't know if that's helpful. Alright, let's see. We're looking it up right now. We are looking it up. Uh, spinning... Chapter 5, Touch. Chapter 6. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're gonna find this out. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Okay, we're getting closer. We're see, we're about at the end of the game, but I don't know how to finish it now. Where am I supposed to put this? So, what am I holding right now? All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna exit out and come back in. That's the only thing I can think of. Yes. So otherwise, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh, what was behind the bookshelf? Good question. Let me check on that. Alright, so let's go back in. What chapter are we at right now? Will it tell me? Um, oh, crap. So I'm okay. I'm here again. Oops. It's all distorted. The keyboard, chess board's all messed up. I right, remember this. 
That's all well and good. We look closely at this. We look at this. Uh, so far, so good. We have to pick up a few, like, penny things. Like, a uh, quarter type stuff. There's one. There's one more on, like, a couch, right? Over here. There's one. Alright, cool. So we got those. So the checkers board becomes complete. It's all well and good. And then soon we should have that room open up again. But we still don't know what this item I'm holding is for. We know that there's haunted monster sounds around. Which is of course scary. This must mean something. So we did something, or we looked at something, because looking at things can be just as important. Ooh, interesting. So maybe it's about zooming in on stuff is what makes a big difference. Yeah, see, zo zooming in on the checkers board made it so that this whole area appeared. Alright, so the rat is gone. We look inside of here. Nothing of interest. Creepy. Hey, we found all oh, right. We found it. It was just a matter of finding another checkers piece. That's so silly of me, guys. How goofy am I? So it's just a matter of finding more checkers pieces. So perhaps there's even more around. Gotta be, right? So this check is oh here. That's it. Oh man, that's creepy. babies like dolls or something we're getting closer closer to unraveling this final horrible mystery Don't let me manipulate this Victrola or whatever it is. There may be another chess piece somewhere. And I really don't 
don't like this cat wind up doll. It's really gives me the creeps. We're so close to discovering it. I know it. Just more toys in here. Yeah, nothing back there. What a crazy mansion these people have lived in. No wonder they went insane. Stumbling all around. Is that a clue or just they like repeating that motif? Probably they just like repeating it. So if I have like this piece of bone or finger or whatever, or potion or something, where am I supposed to put it? These dolls look like they're stumbling all around. Man, I guess because it's near the end of the game they want to make everything more puzzly and difficult, but I don't know if I appreciate that because I want to journey onward, you know? So another checkers piece somewhere perhaps. Let's see, was the black checker piece in that painting in the gramophone room? Good question, let's take a look. In the painting, this painting? Oh, it sure looks like one though, doesn't it? But still, these areas of the room must mean something. Hmm. It's gotta be something right under our nose. Maybe I need to look up high more. Stumped. Hmm. Mm. All right. Let's think this through. We've looked almost everywhere, or so we think. We have this item that we need to interact with with something. We don't have anything that we see we can interact with yet. We picked up a couple chess pieces to move things around. Some stuff is upside down. Other things are not upside down. Actually, I think most things are right side up. 
it really may be as simple as just a chessboard that's somewhere around. Oh, yes, yeah, the eyeball I have, right? So. So therefore, stumbling all around, that's what you would do if you were missing an eye. So, uh, it's got to be something with this room. Is that normal? I wonder if there's like a clue giving thing. Alright, what's the name of this this room? Um uh Layers of Fear Checkers piece pieces. Solving the checkers room puzzle. Okay. So Alright. This part is very particular. You have to look at the record player and bed at specific locations or the events won't trigger. That's weird. Um, Alright, so this walkthrough promises to try and help me. Aha, that's it! We had to look up at the ceiling. Alright. I think we've solved it. Jeez, that was hard enough. Alright, now let's go look at the uh, chess checkers board itself. What is this? It's calling to me. I should approach it. Crib is up high. Always a bad sign. Is this a new way we can go? No, it's the same. But this area has changed. A toilet filled with onions? Another checkers piece. Good, that's what we wanted. Guess we need more. We can go upstairs now. Alright, disappearing ball, nothing to be too worried about, except this stairwell doesn't lead anywhere. 
That's kind of weird. Now it's raining checkers pieces very slowly. Interesting. Alright, let's see if we can go upstairs again. Nope. Nothing else up there. Well, you know what I could do? What's this painting? Creepy. But all the paintings are creepy for the most part. Let's be real here. It's not a game filled with super... Hey, we lit the candles, that's a good sign. There's this piece of art that I heard about and I saw, and the title itself is really scary to me. It's called, One Day You Will No Longer Be Loved. And I thought that was a terrifying, a terrifying title. One Day You Will No Longer Be Loved. Oven. Hey, we got something from the oven. That is a good sign. We're finding what we need to find. We're making progress. I think we almost saw this. Oh, stairs went out. Okay. Yeah, still nothing for the checkers board. So it's more less about what you interact with, it's more about what you look at. Which is very interesting. So in theory, if you look at everything, it should be okay. Of course, some things are too scary to look at. But now I have two major items, and I think they're both paramount to, uh... Oops. Okay. So something just busted open, but what was that? We already got stuff from the oven. We could open these. See what's inside. Hmm. It's like coming to life, this thing. It's become like a tree. Maybe now it'll let us go upstairs. Or at least... It is interesting playing as a character who's a real scumbag, because everything you learn about your character as you progress, you realize he's just like the biggest narcissistic douchebag. Oh, we're weighing this. Is that what we wanted? That seems fine, right? We weighed that and...
Sure seems like we activated something. That doesn't sound good. Hmm, what's this? Oops. Huh, it keeps minimizing every time I try to do this puzzle. That's weird. Um, weird. Alright, so I need to figure out the combination of this puzzle. What could it be? Do we see any numbers floating around anywhere? Maybe the che checkers board. Well, that didn't tell me what the the clue is. So. If I'm going to open up that safe, I need to know the clue. 90, 60, 70, 60, 50, 40. Safe lock. Huh, okay. Oh, a number on the weight of the scale. Hannah, you're a genius. Let's see. What did it What did it say? Pure genius. Sure looks like 21 to me, doesn't it? I then 21 grams. Yeah, and it weighs 21 grams. Um I maybe 21g or 21. That's got to be it, right? Let's see. Did it let you go in denominations where it could be 21? Oops. Oh my goodness. You are a genius, Hannah. Pure genius. What is this? Some kind of spinning toy? It won't let me grab it, that's for sure. I'm just supposed to look at it, huh? And that's weird. Wonder if I can knock it out of there. It must be used for something. Whoa, this thing's back. This wasn't here before. Oh. 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 So creepy. I don't even know what that is, but it's terrifying. Music's coming from. forbid. I'm now back in front of the portrait. It's time to complete the painting. Yes! That's it! 
this beautiful, perfect, just like I always imagined. Dear what? God, what, what is, is this? this? Uh, I, I don't, don't understand. understand. <laughs> no. I wonder what he was even trying to make, using all these horrible ingredients to make his painting. I wonder why he would take it with him, after all the horror it's done. It's everywhere. Filled with it. I'm back in control. There's baby face again. So far everything seems kind of normal. Well, relatively, considering everything I've seen so far. It's not that horrible painting anymore. Now it's, I think, my fiancé. It's the baby's room, but everything's back to normal. I think. Let's go downstairs. Still seems kind of creepy though. But now it's the light of day. And I can't really go anywhere else down here. Must not be where I'm supposed to go. The house is no longer shifting and turning all crazy. But it is destroyed. I'm all chained in. Locked to go outside. What's this room? Storage, I guess. Supplies? Doesn't look like I can grab anything then. Okay. Guess they just wanted me to do one last final tour of the house. The smear of art in the paintings going up this way, though, shows something maniacal was going on. Same with the art. Still locked. This room. Oh, it's not playing this time. I 
fact, nothing is changing the way it used to be. Everything's just destroyed. So... Where have I not really investigated yet now? Oh, it's the, the key. Alright, nice. We got the key. Just like before. Just like we planned. Other way, other way. Master bedroom. Huh. Different room and he's a key? Uh, which other room was locked? I don't remember. Hey, Eric, how you doing? Uh, so this is actually, I took a little break from the Lovecraft thing. This is also a first-person walking simulator. Um, but this one is called Layers of Fear. This is a much shorter game. It's like four or five hours long. We're just at the end of it. And it's kind of a Dorian Gray theme. So there's a little bit of Lovecraft, but mostly it's Victorian horror. And it's very psychedelic and trippy. Oh, weird. Yeah, very different kind of feel than uh, Call of Cthulhu. This is where the painting would have been. It's not here, though. Nothing in these. Just a lot of, uh... Hey, good point. The gramophone did work. Maybe if I find a record for it. Good call. It's weird how the lights came on now that I'm over on this side. It's almost like that's a sitting location. Oh, I could pull off the the portrait and finally see. Do I dare look at it? I must. Whoa, weird. What a strange into the game. That was really weird. You know what's weird is I there's so few movies that I know of that are modern and games that are based on Edgar Allan Poe, but I wish there were more because it's a really wonderful area. I think I don't know what it all means. I think someone needs to explain the whole plot of Layers of Fear to me. Because everything's kind of hinted at and implied at. But we don't get a whole lot of, you know, complete meaning. I think it was like requires going back and interpreting and stuff. And kind of thinking about, about everything. Yeah. So between the three hours I played on Saturday I guess and the hour today it was like a four or five hour game so it's a very short game but I like it a lot but uh it's definitely a weird one well thanks everyone for joining me with this uh, gaming hey and thanks for setting up notifications for when I get alerts yeah I'll tell people that um, I'll even make a comment um, you can set notifications so you know the next time I go live, friends. Thanks, everyone, for joining, especially Hannah's 
brilliant advice. Oh, thanks, Hannah. Yeah, well, I like these kind of games because they're fun to watch and they're interactive, but they're like movies a little bit also, and they, they're story-based, but they're also atmospheric, so if you, you go in late to the story, it still works. Um, they're all in the realm of uh, what we call walking simulators. <laughs> You're literally just walking, but some of them have more puzzles, some of them have less, some are more scary, some are not too scary, but... Uh, they're adventure style games and I, I love them, they're my favorite, so Yeah. I think I'm gonna keep I think I'm gonna keep playing more. Yeah, it's definitely a PC game and it's definitely available on Steam. So if you have Steam, um I recommend putting it on a, a wish list if you're interested and then if it goes on sale. You know, when some of these games go on sale, they're really they're really, really good. I think the granddaddy of them is still the two thousand ten game. Amnesia the Dark Descent. But I think there's other games that are kind of nearly as good, if not, you know, competitive. Maybe I'll play some of Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs at some point here. That's a great horror walking simulator also. Yeah, they're just, they're just tons of fun, and they're kind of like a, you know, an escape room adventure in some ways. I like that. They're, it's a puzzly thing. Uh, all right, well, my friends, everyone, get plenty of sleep and rest and water. And uh, take your multivitamin in the morning after you have a full stomach. But do take your multivitamin. Okay, I'll see everybody later. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.